been a blessing to your employees. Call it personal employees. Personal employees. The Bible says we can be blessings to hired servants. Look at what the Bible said in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 13. Thou shalt not defraud your neighbor, neither rob him. The wages, the salary of him that you have employed, that you have hired shall not abide with you all night until the morning. You are to pay him today. Don't pay him tomorrow. Hi. It's awful. What about governments owing salary for seven months? Under a curse. Heavy curse. Local government owing salary one year. Terrible causes. Big man cannot pay those working for him because he's bigger than them. They can't do him anything. Causes. He will not enjoy that money. He will be cut off in the midst of the This message is awful. If you can't pay them, don't hire them. Somebody's your laundry man and you are owing him salary. Iron your clothes yourself. Oh. Release him and iron your clothes yourself. Somebody's your cook, your chef. You can't pay him. Cook your food by yourself. Somebody is your driver. You can't pay him. Drive yourself. You are not qualified for a driver. You see, people are doing a lot of things. A lot of things that is making the blessing not to land. You are, you are in church every day. And yet, there are people grumbling behind you. It is over. Somebody say it loud, Amen. Somebody say it louder, Amen. You travel with your staff abroad. They gave you hundred dollar per staff to go with you. You paid them fifty only and pocketed fifty. That is disaster you pocket to. Calamity. If you doubt me, ask Adam. And they are doing, there are some that may be fighting in the war front, fight, doing all manner of dangerous things and some people are eating their money. Curses. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 14 to 15. Deuteronomy 24, 14 to 15. I'll be, I'll be rounding off very shortly. Thou shalt not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy. Whether he be of your brethren or of your strangers that are in your land within thy gates at his day. Honor the agreement. You shall give him his pay, his hire. Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and he sets his heart upon it, in case he cry against you unto the Lord, and it is sin unto you. Father, see what this big man is doing to me. Judge, judge, oh God, judge. At his day, you must give him his pay. Otherwise, he may report you to God. And it becomes sin. Jeremiah 22 and in verse 13. He said, Woe unto him that builded his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong. 
that uses his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not for his work. You are using your neighbor's services without paying him. It is a woe. You know when dogs say woe, 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 it's not a blessing. James chapter 5 verse 1 to verse 4. And I will begin to round off there. Go to now. You rich men, weep. You are rich but begin to cry. And hold for the miseries, miseries that shall come upon you. Rich man, your riches are corrupted. Your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered. They, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were by fire. You have heaped together. You are gathering money together for the last days. Behold, the salary, the pay, the hire of the laborers who have ripped down your fields which you have kept back by fraud is crying. And the cries of them which have ripped your field and you haven't paid them, has entered the ears of the Lord of the armies. Wow. Is it not a serious matter? If a man curses you, God can reverse it. If God curses a person, who can reverse it? That will never be your portion. See, after me say from today, if I cannot pay them, I will never employ them. I will never hire them. Tamba karia tapalaya, makapa kata balada baka prata bedeke, imprata kapos kabasha talia, manda priata.